make sure the flat bottom surface on the housing is resting nice and flat on the torch handle and not angled up. If you have a different size torch than this, you may need to slightly file this down, this radius, or shim it up with electrical tape or something to get this resting nice and flat. And then zip tie it down snug here. Put your Velcro just behind the minimum setting on the slider. Put a zip tie here at the very end so it's not pulling this wire around and fatiguing it right at the joint. Leave plenty of slack here. So when you if you have to curl your torch over like this, this does not bind. And then tape it off to your torch lead down here so it doesn't slide. And then on the machine end, you don't want this pulling down tight either. So you want to tape it off to a more firm, you know, more robust fitting. So if, when this lead pulls down, there's plenty of slack here so it doesn't kink this either. And this button has two positions, off and on, obviously. And the off position is slightly lower than the on position. Down is off, and then up is on. So do that a few times, make sure you figure out which one's which. And then make sure it is in the full back position, lowest amperage, and in the off position before you turn on your machine or else it's gonna try to arc up and get the high frequency going and maybe shock you. And when you plug it into the machine, make sure the machine is turned off. And every time you get done well, then try to get in the habit of pulling the amperage the full way back and putting it in the off position. And then get yourself a good torch holder. I love this, it's just a magnetic base with aluminum fill rod bent to exactly how I like it to hold your torch. So you're not slamming this around and potentially damaging it. And another reason to put this in the off position is because if, when it's on the high position, there is a little gap into the electronics. So if you were to leave this, you know, carelessly up on the table and be grinding stuff, you could get some metal shavings in here. And if you ever have any issues, just lightly blow in here with compressed air, you know, move it around a little bit and it should clean it right out.